would you mind saying a bit about what Extinction Rebellion is in your own words? Sure, so we're um, a mass participation civil disobedience movement focused on the climate and ecological crisis and it's the ecological is really important in that phrase. Uh, both crises are, are here and we came out of a network called Rising Up which looked at the wider systemic issues that were creating crises and unable to respond to them. Uh, we were launched in October 2018 uh, in the UK and we rapidly spread uh, to around 70 countries. I'm very focused on the UK so I, uh, I, I'm not really uh, abreast of uh, news from elsewhere uh, and in the UK we've just been on the streets um, between the sort of 31st and uh, uh, last Thursday, uh, September, which would have been about the 10th, I think. Um, so we're always in active rebellion against our government. We say the social contract's broken, and sometimes we go on the street to um, actively participate together in collective civil dis disobedience. And so would you say, like, in addition to having actual kind of imminent demands, I feel like a lot of what, what you talk about is, seems to be maybe you might call consciousness raising or shifting people's you're having kind of psychological impact on you know, providing a vision for people and, yeah. and is that a big part of it as well? Yeah I I, I mean I made a, a video about holistic theories of change because I think different people experience um, Extinction Rebellion in different ways and so I would only really be sharing my perspective here and I don't think this is for everybody but I think um, there are a number of things going off with, with Extinction Rebellion, the, the, the on the street theory around civil disobedience and how disruption works to bring attention to issues and uh, uh, yeah, um, there's lots of data and social science on that. 